Today, BRS TV investigates the blending of light and how all the individual spectrums of light from different bulbs or LEDs combine together to create one cohesive spectrum with dozens of different light configurations. The test is simple. We mount the lights at the ideal mounting height, add some flow to make surface ripples, and then take 20 different spectrum shots from down below the tank. Perfect looks like this, where there's almost no change between all 20 shots. Less than ideal looks like this, where there are some significant changes between the various spectrum peaks and shots. The question everyone's asking is more complex. Why do we care if the spectrums are blended? Answers. One based on undesirable visual artifacts and one based on biology. Reality is, if the spectrum looks like the wild west of fluctuating color intensity in this test, you'll also see it with the eye in the tank in form of what we call disco effects of colored beams of light flickering around the tank. I've been doing this long enough to know that if it fails this test, I can be assured I won't like how it looks in the tank as well. Second, it's completely unknown with the effect of hitting the corals with pulses of individual spectrums rather than a cohesive blend of spectrums. It's possible that if we're only counting photons, that in the end it all averages out to the same number of each of the photons landing on the coral either way. It's also possible, though, that the pulses of these individual spectrums trigger unknown biological effects. Fact is, no one's researching this field of unblended light or disco and will likely never have a definitive answer to the biology question, other than if all things remain the same, 100 out of 100 reefers and marine biologists would all select the cohesive option over the Wild West, and that's why this is part of our reef tank lighting performance tests. Included here are dozens of lighting configurations, quick links to each in the description. No commentary is required. You can easily interpret or see what's happening with each light. At the end, I'll share our key takeaways.
Okay, so what do we take away from this? First, no question, T5s are the best of the best in blending, even with three different bulb choices of Blue Plus, Coral Plus, and a Tinix mixed together. The common base of blended phosphors, large light sources, and wide reflectors blend near perfectly. Second best is a large module of LEDs under a diffusion pane. However, almost every performance factor has a cost and it will reduce the PAR output to some degree. We use them on our Radeons in the 750XXL and I think it's a trade-off that I'm glad to make. Third, there's a relatively new type of diffusion that's becoming more and more popular. It's an acrylic sheet lens with recessed LED clusters. These recessed locations serve as a color mixing chamber and the acrylic lens serves to create a secondary source of diffused light. The mix of diffused light and single points of light not only blends all the spectrums fairly well, but also creates a soft, attractive shimmer. This was the type of diffusion lens and color mixing chamber that was first seen in the Philips Coral Care, then in the Neptune Sky, both underneath a secondary diffusion pane, the AI Blades, the first time that I've seen the acrylic diffusion lens stand alone without that secondary film or pane, and it seems to work fairly well with very limited changes and no PAR reductions. Fourth, lights with all the LEDs under a single lens will always blend the spectrums better than those that use individual lenses for each LED. Specifically, those LED options out there that use these lenses to focus down the light into a stronger beam. They will always have the worst spectrum blending performance. Fifth, this test can be cheated with lights that have very limited spectrum offering. If you only use royal blues and cool whites which share the same 450 peak, it's pretty darn easy to beat this test. That said, thin blue band spectrum is not what we're shooting for. Six, cohesive fill light can make a less than ideal blending solution better. It's an example of what the AI Prime looks like on its own next to the three point hybrid of an AI Prime flanked with the blade grow fill lights. The addition of the blended solution reduces the disparity between the peaks and valleys and smooths out the blending performance. Seventh, shimmer and disco are closely tied together. It's difficult to capture shimmer or disco artifacts accurately on the camera because the flicker is happening faster than the shutter speed of the camera. But in person, I can tell you that there are six different types of shimmer and I can tell you what they are without even turning the lights on now. First, focus lenses create what we call disco ball effects with flickers of color shooting all over the tank from the focus lenses. Second, large arrays of low power LEDs create what I call a static TV effect, which is less shimmer and more just a vibrating fuzz that covers the entire tank. Third, large diffuse sources like T5s or the Neptune Sky create almost no shimmer. Fourth, very bright single points of light like 90 watts of LEDs under a small lens will create a very hard aggressive shimmer which can be adjusted by changing the amount of surface waves. Fifth, mixing hard shimmer lights like the Kessel and fill light like T5s which soften it and makes it adjustable to your taste has historically been my personal favorite. Six, lights that use diffusion lenses but no diffusion pane like the AI blades create that same hybrid effect of hard shimmer lines from the clusters and very diffused light coming from the lenses to create soft, well-balanced light with no visible shimmer artifacts like disco or static. Okay, but what about distribution of light? All of these lights have very specific distribution patterns and fairly unique artifacts based on their lens design. No question, you will prefer some of these designs and resulting performance over others. That's coming up next, right here, the distribution of light, the entire LED showdown playlist, right here.